Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, Andrew Yang, the 2020 presidential candidate, and many other big names from AI have signed a open letter that asks companies to pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. Right now, we're going to read through what that letter is and see what their concerns are. Starting at the top. AI systems with human competitive intelligence can pose profound risks to society and humanity, as shown by extensive research and acknowledged by top AI labs. As stated in the widely endorsed Asilomar AI principles, advanced AI could represent a, a profound change in the history of life on Earth and should be planned for and managed with commensurate care and resources. Unfortunately, this level of planning and management is not happening, even though recent months have seen AI labs locked in an out-of-control race to develop and deploy ever more powerful digital minds that no one, not even their creators, can understand, predict, or reliably control. Contemporary AI systems are now becoming human competitive at general tasks, and we must ask ourselves, should we let machines flood our information channels with propaganda and untruth? Should we automate away all the jobs, including the fulfilling ones? Should we develop non-human minds that might eventually outnumber, outsmart, obsolete, and replace us? Should we risk loss of control of our civilization? Such decisions must not be delegated to unelected tech leaders. Powerful AI systems should be developed only once we are confident that their effects will be positive and their risks will be manageable. This confidence must be well justified and increase with the magnitude of a system's potential effects. OpenAI's recent statement regarding artificial general intelligence states that, quote, at some point it may be important to get independent review before starting to train future systems, and for the most advanced efforts to agree to limit to the rate of growth of compute used for creating new models, end quote. We agree. That point is now. Therefore, we call on all AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. This pause should be public and verifiable and include all key factors, all key actors. If such a pause cannot be enacted quickly, governments should step in and institute a moratorium. AI labs and independent experts should use this pause to jointly develop and implement a set of shared safety protocols for advanced AI design and development that are rigorously audited and overseen by independent outside experts. These protocols should ensure that systems adhering to them are safe beyond a reasonable doubt. This does not mean a pause on AI development in general, merely a stepping back from the dangerous race to, to ever larger, unpredictable black box models with emergent capabilities. AI research and development should be fo refocused on making today's powerful state-of-the-art systems more accurate, safe, interpretable, transparent, robust, aligned, trustworthy, and loyal. In parallel, AI developers must work with policymakers to dramatically accelerate development of robust AI governance systems. These should at minimum include new and capable regulatory authorities dedicated to AI, oversight and tracking of highly capable AI systems and large pools of computational capability, provenance and watermarking systems to help distinguish real from synthetic and to track model leaks, a robust auditing and certification ecosystem, liability for AI-caused harm, robust public funding for technical AI safety research, and well-resourced institutions for coping with the dramatic economic and political disruptions, especially to democracy, that AI will cause. Humanity can enjoy a flourishing future with AI. Having succeeded in creating powerful AI systems, we can now enjoy an AI summer in which we reap the rewards, engineer these systems for the clear benefit of all, and give society a chance to adapt. Society has, has hit pause on other technologies with potentially catastrophic effects on society. We can do so here. Let's enjoy a long AI summer, not rush unprepared into a fall. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with the sentiment of this letter? I certainly agree that there are risks involved. I don't know if this letter really contemplates the um, difficulty involved with what they're proposing. Obviously, they're smart people, Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak. I don't think they're unaware of the issues here, um, but I do think they are understating them a bit in this letter. For example, how exactly would a government impose a moratorium on uh, AI development of scaled models, right? They say that this is not a pause on AI development in general, um, merely a stepping back, uh, but they do not say exactly what that should look like. For example, what even is AI? Is AI machine learning? Because machine learning is a particular type of AI, but it's not the same type of AI that people were researching several decades ago. Uh, is an expert system in AI? You know, arguably there are many algorithms that blur the line between AI and just an algorithm. And I don't think policymakers are well informed enough to make any sort of decision about where that line is in the foreseeable future. Um, all you have to do is listen to the recent TikTok hearings to understand how 
non-technically savvy many of our politicians are. So I think that is a clear um, issue. I don't think there's a realistic way that the U.S. government is able to define what they would even be putting a moratorium on. Uh, and for that reason, I don't think that's a very realistic proposal. I do think that um, it's also unlikely that AI system or AI labs by themselves will all decide to stop doing research, partially for the same reason. Um, again, it's not really well defined what they would be putting a pause on, and different companies may put pauses on different types of research. The only thing that really seems clear from this is that you know the people writing this letter are asking OpenAI to stop development of, of GPT-5. That is really the only takeaway. Other than that, you know, is uh, AlphaFold, one of the recent, you know, I guess not so recent now, a couple years old, um, developments from uh, DeepMind on protein folding. Uh, would that be something that, you know, continuations of that project should be, there should be a pause on those? It's really unclear from this letter whether or not the, you know, authors of this letter would want that. And I think that is, a core problem here. I don't know what exactly anyone would putting a, be putting a pause on other than OpenAI. And I don't think OpenAI is going to make a unilateral decision to stop doing research when other companies continue to do research.